Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So here, as you've seen in my thumbnail, Why Men Shut Women Out by Slade Shaw. Now I had to print this out because it's an ebook, so I wanted to print it out. It actually has several pages that have front and back, but I wanted to Actually, I'm not even going to talk about the title itself. It did have some useful information in there. I am going to do two videos off of this book right here. Again, it's Why Men Shut Women Out by Slade Shaw. Um, but today I want to focus on the nagging portion of it. And today's title is um, Why Men Hate Nagging. I wrote down only three reasons why men hate nagging nagging but I think that they're poignant and then I also wanted to read to you some of the real life answers that other men have given about this very subject all right so I want to read this to you guys just so you can get an um, idea about the survey itself so he did studies for men of all ages and asked them questions obviously for this study giving us a perspective across the board the answers were surprisingly similar similar from from all of the women um, excuse me from all of the men which tells us that the issues making men pull away are pretty much universal across age groups so they're saying that from all men it's similar answers and the ages did not matter uh, men basically always have the same relationship needs the respondents included single men who were never married single men who were divorced men who are happily married, men who are unhappily married, widowers, and of course, single dating men. Um, before we get to the actual results, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and give you the three that I feel that they pointed out, and then I'm going to read to you some of the actual answers from the guys themselves. Okay, the first reason why men, again, across the board, all age groups, and you heard the groups that were in there, why they hate nagging is because it makes them feel worthless. I'm letting that sink in because I thought that that was a very, very deep answer. Worthless when, i.e. women are nagging them. Now, I actually don't nag, but I am a woman, so I get it. I get it. I just felt like nagging was really, really deep. It's speaking to their emotional side. It's speaking to... Uh, the psychological aspect that is occurring when the nagging happens. So think about that, lady. If you are a nagger, your man, even though he probably didn't even participate in this survey, he might be feeling worthless. Another thing that they brought up as far as men and why they hate nagging is because they thought of their sisters and their mothers. Nobody wants to be in love with or date the mother and definitely not their sister. So I do get this one. When you're in the household, especially because, let me back up, especially because I'm in the household or have grown up in a household with six other siblings. Yes, I come from a huge family. It was four girls and three boys in my household, excluding my parents. Right? So it was seven of us there. Now, the sister and the mom think I can understand from the man's point of view how my sisters and me, even me, how we would tell our brothers what to do. Even if they already heard it from our mom, for some reason we as sisters felt like we have to throw our two cents in there too. So I can see how the, the husband or the boyfriend or the guy that you're in a relationship with is like, I don't want you nagging me because my sister used to do that. And they definitely don't want you nagging them if it's making them think about their mothers. Like they're not living with their mother. And that could be, that could be why they feel like they need to defy and not do said thing that we are, are, that we are nagging them about. Just think about that. If when we are nagging them, they think about their sisters and their mothers. Now, I get it. They would do what they needed to do because it's their mom. Okay. With some reluctance. Okay, but I'm going to do what I need to do. It's my mom. But my sister? I mean, I could, I, could, I could sit there all day and be ready to fight you because you can't tell me what to do because you're just my sister. We are equals, boo. Mom, I get that. You're a little bit higher. You're a little bit higher on the totem pole. But my sister? Uh-uh. No. So, again, just think about the psychology of you 
as the girlfriend, as the wife, as the fiance, and you standing there. And most of the time, we don't get down on their level. Um, and literally, I mean, get down on their level. So if they're sitting down, a lot of times we tower over them. And not on purpose, but you kind of standing there over them with your hands on your hip, delivering said message about whatever the nagging is. So just think about the, the vivid picture that you are giving your husband, fiance, boyfriend, when you are standing there with your hands on your hips, maybe even rolling your head with your finger going. He don't even see you. He see his sister and he see his mama. That's deep to me. That That's deep to me. That's not something that I would have thought that men would think about. That's deep, that's deep to me. The first one is the deepest, feeling worthless. The third one I thought was just as important because it makes them feel like they're not good enough. And they also feel unwanted which I just thought that that was very surprising. I'm telling you or asking you at the point that I'm nagging you, I'm probably telling you, but I'm, I'm telling you, you know, can you just take care of X, Y, and Z? And you're feeling like you're not good enough, not wanted. You feel like I could be your sister and your mama, and you also feeling worthless. Like that's enough for me personally to never, ever, ever nag again. I mean, seriously. It's going deeper than we as women thought. Now, just as a side note, I have a whole series on nagging when it comes to women and, you know, just the, 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 the aspects of women. So definitely go ahead. I'll link those down in the description box below and at some point up here as well. But yes, so I have a, a series of videos on nagging itself. But this one is really, really, really going to stand out to me where, like I said, I don't nag anyway. But even if I want to, because sometimes I want to, don't get me wrong. I told you that I'm just a human, even though I'm giving out these tips and tools I can fall short just like everybody else I might be able to recover a lot faster but I can fall short I got a mouth on me I just mentioned in my last video that um, me and hubby actually just got into a miscommunication so we go through things just like you go through things we are all here to learn together okay Yes, we're all here to learn together because here at I Love Me, 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 I am supplying the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships so we can overall decrease that divorce rate by simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. That is my whole passion. That is exactly what I'm doing here on this channel. This is why I am putting out all of this information for you guys to soak up like a sponge so you too can have a happy healthy romantic relationship because I pretty much do have a happy healthy romantic relationship there are always going to be areas where I'm going to have to improve on and that my husband is going to have to improve on but if we are improving on them and improving on them together we can't lose we cannot lose so if you and your spouse also take that stance if you work on your stuff and I work on my stuff and we meld meld in together how can you lose how can anything come between you guys how will it ever have a chance for cheating to occur now again if you are with a cheater then cheating is going to occur because you are with a cheater until they decide to stop cheating I just talked about cheating in my last video if if you just found me because of the suggested videos, definitely check that out. I absolutely recommend that because you'll learn something there as well. And if you are a new but oldie <laughs> uh, subscriber and you haven't seen that video as well, definitely go ahead and check that out as well to you too. Now, I'm going to go ahead and move past me and my family, okay? I have brought you into my world a little too much, okay? <laughs> and now I want to go ahead and read what some of the guys themselves are actually talking about when um, I'm actually reading. I'm going to read their res actual responses. So the first one was saying that um, I was nagged about working too hard and doing too much overtime to support my family and accused of cheating when all I was trying to do was work to give my family a better life. I felt like I was busting my arse for nothing and she couldn't see the bigger picture. That one is kind of like, mm. Okay. Here's another one. 
I look back now and see that she was right. I felt annoying. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I look back now and see that she was right. It felt annoying to be nagged, though. Nagging doesn't do much to help a man think to change. It's like a bird chirping in your ear. If you really want to get your point across to your man, don't nag. Just have a damn conversation first. Ask about his day and grab his attention. Warm him up first, then get into things you like to work on together. Nagging just makes a man put up his shield and go on defense mode. I think that that was very, a very good way for him to explain, yeah, the lady was right. She was right. Like, he gave her a props, but he, then he went on the uh, defense. <laughs> it's like, even though, you know, even though her nagging, you know, I understand why she was nagging and everything, it still didn't help. She was like a bird chirping in my ear. Do, do, do. The best way to do it, and I actually agree with him on this, don't nag, ladies. Get your man. Go on ahead and get him some good food. Get that good dinner going. Get those laughs and jokes going. And guess what? Have a conversation. You don't never, 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 never want to use the words, let's talk, or we need to talk. Or when you get home, we, we need to talk. Oh, God, you are setting yourself up for failure. Because the only thing he is doing, he is thinking about what he did wrong. It might not even be nothing that he did wrong this time. You just want to talk to him. But before you really get out what you need to say, he is already on defense mode. So before he even gets on defense mode, don't nag. Don't use those words. Let's talk. We need to talk all of whatever your phrase is. Don't use it any longer. Throw it in the trash. Delete it from your vocabulary. That is absolutely going to help you out so much. I personally never use that phrase. We need to talk. Let's talk. I just simply wait till the timing is right. Because I always talk about timing. Wait till the timing is right. Doesn't matter how much I need to get it off my chest. I wait for the timing to be right. I make sure that my, my emotional side has subsided. And then I just talk to him. Hey, you know what I was thinking about? Blah, blah, blah. Whatever blah, blah, blah is, is the issue. But he don't know how much has been on my mind. But I do. But I'm still talking to him in a clear, concise manner so he can hear what I'm saying and adjust accordingly. And he does the exact same thing when he needs to talk to me. He don't make this long drawn out. We need to talk. We need to talk. He might be like, hey, you got a minute? We sit down and we talk. They hate it. They hate the nagging. And now I can truly understand why they hate the nagging. Okay, I'm going to give you one more and then I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. All nagging is a negative way of saying you're not paying attention. The unintended consequence of nagging usually exasperates the problem. Men hate to be nagged as it reminded them of mother or sister, which is what I said earlier. Not terribly sexy memory for the, for the most part or for most men. It results in learning to tune out. Ergo, more nagging results in less attention. Less attention results in more nagging. Once you're on the cycle, it's very difficult to get off. My goodness. What stood out to me the most was when he said, <laughs> because it reminded him of the mom or sister, it's resulting in learning to tune you out. So just think about that. You are saying all of this stuff. You're spewing all of your anger and not it's not coming out in a very helpful manner. And guess what he doing? Playing that video game. Or he just sitting there looking at you, but he tuning you all the way out. He is thinking the whole time, when is this going to be? over girls ladies women let's tighten this up let's get this one out the window it is much deeper than I could have even thought about when I read this I was like oh I gotta share this with my audience I have to 
I have to share this with you because this is something that I had no idea about myself. So when I read it, I was like, oh, oh, I got to get this on tape. So what did you think about it? Did you like it? If you did, of course, give me thumbs up. Share this with the people that you know who need to see this message. Hit that share button. Definitely share it, share it, share it, share it. Share it on your social media. Go ahead. Share it. Because these are life lessons that we all need to learn. If you want your relationship to be that much healthier, take away the nagging. And my bonus that I put in here, take away the phrase, let's talk. We need to talk. When you get home, let's talk. Take away that phrase. Throw it out of your vocabulary. Your relationship will be so much better, so much healthier. If this is your very first time here to I Love Me, 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 definitely go ahead and consider subscribing. As a matter of fact, don't consider it any longer. If you're here this long, hit that red subscribe button because here at I Love Me, 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 I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools and all of the new information that I even get myself. I'm supplying it to you guys so you too can have a happy, healthy, romantic relationship. I will see you again in the next video. Deuces.